Hope you enjoy our one bedroom, 700 square feet LA apartment tour. I am so excited because today's video is brought to you by Vineyard Valley. I have been freaking obsessed with this game ever since I downloaded it. I actually downloaded it a couple days before I headed to Sedona and I could not stop playing. Stop, I know you're recording me. It's really good. I love puzzle games and I also like building things and home decor and kind of creating my own little world. So cool about Vineyard Valley is it's a puzzle game, a story, and you get to decide how you want to decorate your winery, restaurant, restore it back to life and make it a hot place to be again. During each chapter, there are things you have to restore. You start off with the kitchen. There's a whole little mystery happening and I can't wait to find out what happened to Raul. The best part is there's also a love triangle between Simone, Wes, and Kai. I vote for Wes because Wes is more of my type. Kai is a little bit more of like that free spirit, younger baby boy type of situation. I don't know, maybe he'll surprise me, but so far I'm voting for Wes. Even though Wes kind of upset Simone you get to actually insert yourself into the story I'm very invested in the story as you guys can tell the best part about this game is that you can build a group and you guys can chat with each other I have a group and it is Serene B and then it's dress yourself happy my name on there is Serene B I will have the game in the description box for you to download it's absolutely free for you to download and play Hey guys, Future Editing Serene here. I just wanted to make sure you guys have the link across screen. It's jamcity.me slash serene. I really hope you join my group because I always need help with lives. I love how you're inserted into the game. Been building my dining room area. I'm on level 88 currently. My group, my name is Serene B, and then I can send you lives. Also ask you to send me some lives. I'll play until I'm out of lives and then I will take a break from the game, which keeps like the amount of time I spend on this game a little bit more manageable because clearly I'm addicted. I hope you join my group. I hope you download the game. If you enjoy puzzle games and storytelling games and just redecorating things, I think it's so fun to be able to pick out like your floor plan, your windows, all those fun things. And we can chat while we play. Um, seriously, can't get enough of this game. You guys know I keep playing it. Like I've been DMing with you guys on Instagram and it's so fun. It's also a great way to kind of take a break from editing, filming, and just work, work, work all the time. I also just really love the love triangle and the story as it unfolds, and I love the mystery aspect to it, and the best part is, like I mentioned, you get to kind of pick out all of your designs, and right now we're thinking about moving. We're not thinking about it. We know we have to move, and I'll talk about that more in a weekly update video. Really am excited about the move because the best part about moving is decorating the place long overdue we've been here for a year and it's really taken me quite a long time to get to the place I want it to be I hope you enjoy our one bedroom 700 square feet LA apartment tour well hi welcome to my apartment come on in hey get it back in here you guys don't get to go out Okay, now I have to move the camera. When you first walk in, you're gonna see that you step right into our kitchen. Our kitchen and our living room is really open. We knew we could move into a much smaller space if it was more modern, chic, sleek, designed, and then we could add pieces that made it feel like us. Just kind of giving you an idea, this is where I was standing. That's our doorway. What you didn't see was our cabinetry over here and then the refrigerator. I love this refrigerator. I've always wanted a bottom freezer just because I spend more time in the fridge and it just makes more sense. Got all of your groceries, that cheesecake, keto cheesecake for the win. And then we've got the freezer, which doesn't have too much in there right now. And we've got an ice maker as well. That's my compost um, that I have to drop off. One of my favorite quotes, you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. And down here is my essential oil collection. This antler situation, which Chris has 
hung all of his hats on. He's gone with us through multiple, multiple apartments. The dog collars are there. We don't have them wear it in the house, but we do put them on before they leave the house. You guys hear little footprints or little feet patter patter, that's Cooper. This oven and this stove is awesome. I personally prefer a gas range stove. Our fire alarm is right there. Anytime we use the oven on a high heat, anytime we make wings, it smokes, and anytime we really cook, the fire alarm goes off. It's not just us, this entire building has this problem. Then we got the microwave or spice area. So I recently went bulk shopping and refilled a bunch of glass jars. I found a couple bulk places in Highland Park in the LA area, which is not too far from me. So this is how I like to store our spices. I'm slowly replacing all the plastic. There's some empty Mondo jars. We literally go through Mondo jars so much because both Chris and I take it every morning. If you guys are interested in CBD, this is like the best daily dose and we sell it in our shop. This area, this baby, my Nespresso machine that my mom got us many moons ago. It's lasted us quite a long time. It's the Virtuo line and I love it. Seriously, the best thing ever. This is from Simple Human. I really love this drying rack because it spits out here. It has a place for my knives, all that stuff. My automated hand soap, dish soap. Love this, also from Simple Human. Um, and then we've got some dried flowers right there. A dishwasher, which has also given us a ton of grief because while it looks fancy, it doesn't work very well. So here is our all-in-one like closet, junk closet essentially. It's where we keep a lot of our coats that we don't need. We've got shoes hanging, we've got packing material. Our luggage is up there. It's not a pretty sight. I'm not gonna give you too much of a close look just because it's, it's really not that interesting. And then we've got our washer and dryer in this closet. Your typical washer dryer situation, it's a pretty decent unit. It came with our apartment. And then the only thing I would say, there's no shelving or anything, so we have to shove all of our laundry items up there and on the floor. I hid my yoga mat and our drying rack back here and our steam mop in the back, back corner. So it can be kind of a little bit annoying to get to things but the good thing about it is it works and you have to kind of just figure out what to do with every little nook and cranny the best thing about living in a small space i think is that we do have to be very mindful of what we want to bring into our lives and also the kind of chemicals we're bringing into a small space um you should always be mindful of what you're using but definitely even more mindful if you're in a small space one of my favorite things in this home is our trash can open can which is full and so gross. It's motion censored as well as voice activated. And if I stand there, it'll stay open until I leave. So it's really awesome, especially when you're cooking and your hands are like greasy or slimy. You're not adding germs to an already kind of germy area. Another thing I love about this apartment is that there are plenty of plenty of plugs. Because it's a newer build, you've got plugs literally everywhere. All along the kitchen, you're never looking for a plug. And I love this backsplash as well. The only thing about the kitchen is it's very dark, but there's plenty of lighting. It's just not the greatest natural light to film things in, but I love, love, love the backsplash. And then of course we've got like three jars of Mondo and my monk fruit for my coffee, some pods, uh, some CBD, cause we're a CBD household. Now moving right along to this area, this is the other side of the kitchen counter. I have my desk. And this is a standing desk because I do suffer from neck and shoulder problems. However, since I've been working out more and properly training those muscles and stretching, I haven't had as many injuries. This is the wind up one. They have a mechanical one. It's just a lot more expensive. This is my Himalayan salt lamp, which I like to have because it gives off negative ions to kind of counteract this giant production of positive ions. I have this little monkey that Jenny won for me at the Dr. Jart event while she was pregnant. She's like really good at winning things and I'm not. And then this is a candle holder that's also Himalayan sea salt. I just don't have any candles in it right now. My iMac, my very overpriced 
piece of equipment, but very necessary for as much editing as I do. I do wish I also had a laptop so that I could be more efficient on the road, especially when I travel. I have my bracelets I got in Sedona. I picked these out based on how I was feeling and what I needed to improve in my life. I wear them pretty much every day. The only issue is when I'm filming, I have to take them off because they clink and I don't wanna annoy you guys. I have my Sage Pocket Pharmacy I got a while back. I like using this every so often. Then I've got my stack of journals here. Got this little bowl that Christine made for me in ceramics and she painted like it looks like me. Let me just dump this out so you guys can see it. Beneath my desk, I have a couple of my skincare kits with PCA Skin, which are still available. Some giveaway prizes for our Patreon page over on the podcast. Some craft pens and stuff. That's all of my important files that I kind of just shove in that folder. And then I have this little filing situation that's got all of our like wires, batteries, camera gear, and then stationery. And in there, that's our filing cabinet. I've got label printer for our shop. This area over here, let's just pretend it's not as disastrous as it looks. This is all our future giveaway prizes. Anytime I get double of products, anytime I think there's something you guys might enjoy, anytime a brand asks if I want products to do a giveaway, I kind of just pile them over here. There are a couple ways to enter to win my giveaways. One is I do a huge monthly giveaway every month over on my newsletter. So you can sign up for my newsletter in the description box or you can go to my blog serenewoo.com and you can sign up over there. I send out an email once a month with a giveaway Google form. You just fill that out if you're interested and I pick a winner and I email you directly. We're also doing a ton of giveaways over on our new fitness account, Lead Fit Official on Instagram as well as Lead Fit on YouTube. Follow us on any of our accounts. We do a ton, a ton, a ton of giveaways. Then we've got these two chairs over here. This pillow means a lot to me. It doesn't really go with anything, but my mom went to Hawaii and brought this back to me. It's from the Dole Plantation, mainly because she bought so much stuff at the gift shop that they gave her a free pillow. So she gave this to me and it's one of my favorites. Rent the runway clothes that need to go return, so I leave that there. This is like mail that needs to go out. And right here, I usually hang whatever purse I'm currently using with all of my stuff in it. Currently, it's the Fajal Raven Recan can, so it's made out of, it's got plastic bottles in it. Dolly wanted you guys to know that this is her spot with her fur and her bone, and this is where she is all day. Cooper's there or she or he goes into our bed. This is our living situation. We did buy this couch when we moved in here because we did not have a couch that fit. I really love the pop of orange. I thought it was something very different and not something I typically would go for. Lamp came from our old place. I really like that oversized lamp. It kind of makes me think of Toy Story or Pixar. This mirror that I ordered online from Amazon, it's just this rope circular mirror. I wanted something circular because I felt like it was missing something like that. And let's take a closer look. So the couch, I would say, while it was on sale and quite affordable, did not last us very well because it's been a year and you can see it's starting to dip dip where Chris and I sit and it's also starting to fade. I don't know that I would recommend this couch, but I definitely love the aesthetics of it. I just don't think you're getting a lot of quality in this situation. Those two pillows have been with us for freaking ever. Under the couch is where we hide our C-stands, filming equipment, um, files, craft supplies, dog stuff in that little brown basket, things I don't really wanna show you guys. Massage table slash facial filming table, which we recently purchased for filming Friday facials or facial Fridays. And then we have two studio lights, which we never use. It's, we're trying to sell it at this point because we just never use it. It's easier for me to use natural light, especially in a small space. So I'm hoping to sell it soon. <laughs> it's those huge giant diva lights that's like the paneling. It, it was used like a handful of times. Then we've got a table that Chris will pull out if he's working from home or if I need it. And then we've got the doggy crate 
Our dogs are crate trained because they get severe anxiety if we just let them roam when we leave the house. It's also safer for them because this way we know exactly where they are if there's an earthquake in the middle of the night or a fire, which the fire alarm has gone off at like two in the morning, three in the morning, and we were dead asleep. So it was really easy for us to just grab them and run. Um, crate training is actually really good for small dogs, especially if they deal with anxiety like ours do. And this is kind of Dolly and Cooper's little toy box corner. This is my palm that I've kept alive for like two, three years. I'm very proud of. It was bigger, parts of it died. Here is a rug that we brought over from our last place. This is our window situation. There's a clothing rack because I like to plan out outfits if I'm filming or I filmed in front of this kind of situation before. So it's really cute. I'm not sure that it's like the most practical or aesthetic thing, but it is what it is right there. Got this corner where I have my YouTube 100,000 subscriber plaque. I'm very, very proud of. I'm sad that I got it after my mom passed, but very proud of that. So if you're sitting on the couch, this is what this side of the house looks like. We've got the TV, which was a hand-me-down from my mom, entertainment center, slash hide our filming equipment and printer that we made out of cinder blocks and plywood. What are you doing? You want on the couch? Promise you won't jump off of it? I made this plant with rolling greens at the Burt's Bees event and I've managed to keep it alive. I'm very proud of the fact that it's still alive. Essential oil nebulizer, which doesn't use any water. It actually just is a better way of diffusing your essential oils and then Christine made Chris this little pipe that looks like a donut. It's so cute. This is so beautiful. And we've got some candles, a jar, my homemade candle using coconut wax so it burns clean, no toxins whatsoever. Our printer and all of our camera gear. I actually have to figure out what to do with this camera because Chris bought me a new camera for my birthday so I'm gonna sell the Sony and the two lenses that go with the Sony because I just don't need it anymore. And it's in perfect condition, it's less than a year old. This mic that we record all our podcasts on as well as ASMR videos. We have this little corner which is got some Polaroids of me and Chris during our yurt vacation. This candle from West Elm that a PR company sent me, really sweet. Some dried flowers, a fake succulent, and some smudge sticks and incense. We keep the incense that we love in this area of the cinder block so it keeps it out of the way. I'm very proud that I've kept my fig tree alive for over a year now. I think it's almost two, two and a half years. So it does need to be replanted and probably dusted. I have to take this to Rolling Greens to get some different soil and then I think I can probably split this but I want the help of someone because I don't want to kill it. But I'm very proud of this. I've kept it alive. This is our little patio and I love this hammock. I don't love the hammock hanger. I bought the hammock hanger because we didn't have anywhere to hang the hammock necessarily. And I've got little planters. I just replanted everything so there's dirt everywhere. I have to clean that up still. Now we're moving to my favorite part of our apartment. Starting in this corner, we have these shelves that we bought these crates from and we just stuck into the wall. I have Ivy 2.0 hanging. I've been doing a pretty decent job keeping her alive. I've got some books that I want to read or have been reading. My little Instax camera up there. I have an S that PCA Skin sent me, which is really cute. And I have just some mementos. I've got my, one of my favorite goal books, Your Best Year Yet. The Alchemist, I've got my 5 minute journal, I've got an essential oils book, then we've got my nightstand. This was gifted to me from Tatcha, this clock, and I absolutely love it because it's one of those daylight clocks. When I set the alarm, it slowly wakes me up with the light and then it beeps. And it also has a nice little night light when I need it because sometimes I come to bed after Chris does and I just need to like put hand cream on or things like that. These are two books I'm currently reading, Wild Beauty and then Recipes for Your Perfectly Imperfect Life. 
I've got my Kindle, my journal, my five minute journal, some more books I plan on reading. My iPad is charging there. Corner has a bunch of blankets that I like to take when we go hiking, camping, or just on trips. And then I have all of my empties under that. Then I've got some jeans I just thrifted and some other clothes that I'm gonna do a thrift flip or a thrift haul for you guys soon. Flipping you guys around, this is what you see from the bed on my side essentially. So I've talked about these four drawers. These four drawers are where I keep products that I need to test or I'm interested in testing new to me products. And then these are things that I'm currently testing in this bag for Makeup Bag Monday that happens every week. Then we've got products that I plan on testing very soon on top. This is just kind of my makeup situation and my mirror, which is very bright. I love this mirror. And then we've got some nail polish. I don't get my nails done very often. I do it myself for the most time, most of the time. And then I do try to keep my nail polish as clean as possible. My little fragrance situation. And then the top two drawers are beauty products. The bottom four are clothes, mainly workout clothes and bras and swimwear. I do try to con Marie my clothes, so pretty pretty decent not too messy got all of my crystals that people have sent me or gifted me and they just kind of sit over here I should probably recharge these this is from my mom she made each one of us a money tree so she actually folded all of these out of dollar bills and then found a branch tied them all and then found a pot for all of us this one's actually like a family heirloom and then put pennies to kind of keep it still. So it's it goes with me everywhere, and she's made one for everybody who bought a new house. She made me mine when I pretty much got married because she was like, I don't know if I'll be able to make this when you buy a house because I'm getting old. Basically when I met Chris, she was like, I'm gonna make this for you guys. Um, but she made the other ones for when everybody bought houses. I'm just younger, so it sucks. Over here we've got a hamper. And then we have two baskets where we kind of keep clothes that aren't quite dirty enough to go into the hamper, but aren't clean to go into the closet. And then I have a hanging plant over here. And then this is Chris's side of the bed. So over the bed, we have a dream catcher that we brought back from Mexico. In this corner, I just dried some eucalyptus from the last time I bought eucalyptus for our shower because when you go to downtown LA flower market, you get way more for the same price. Chris's shelf is like all the things he loves, jujitsu books, art of war, like his belts from jujitsu. And then this is a little hanging lantern which has an, a battery operated thing because I would totally forget and burn the house down if I did that. And now we're in the bathroom which gets zero natural light but it's really cute. And when I moved in, I didn't realize this, but you cannot turn that fan off. So if you hear the fan, I apologize. That's my side clearly with all the products I'm testing out. This is Chris's side. He's become quite a little male beauty junkie. This medicine cabinet we put in because I needed more storage for products, my skincare. Top drawer is Chris's and the bottom two are mine. And then we've got more beauty products, hair care products, toilet paper, lots of cleaning supplies down there. There are actually just crates that I stained with two fake plants up there. This is all of our bath stuff. This is like my lotions are in that basket and then random bath stuff on the right. The good thing is we do have somewhat of a linen situation. It's not the largest because Chris uses a lot of towels. So all our towels essentially take up our linen closet. And this is the shower. How bougie hippie am I with this eucalyptus, but I just love the way it smells when you turn the shower on. I have my bamboo brush, I have this little caddy. I try to keep it pretty minimal, but you know, I am kind of a beauty blogger, I guess, so there's a lot of stuff. One of my favorite things, I know this sounds weird, is the penny tile floor. I love the floor of our bathroom. And then we've got this bamboo mat. 
And through our bathroom is our closet. I'm kind of scared to show you. I'm not really gonna show you the floor because it's a disaster of all the things I don't want you guys to see. But Chris and I do share this closet. He has this side and these drawers and then the rest of it is mine. And I do like the built-in shelving because that's where I store a lot of accessories as well as my purses we we're using like every inch of this baby hook that we've installed where i hang more robes scarves and all that stuff and then this is my hamper over here i hope you guys enjoyed my apartment tour we've been here a little over a year and we will be moving out soon so it did take me a really long time to get this up but i think it was worth the wait because it felt lived in. It wasn't just like this apartment tour that was half finished. And I also think it's more important to see like what it actually looks like when you're living in the space. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for Vineyard Valley for sponsoring today's video. Future Serene here again. Make sure you check out Vineyard Valley and join my group. I would love to play with you and chat with you. Go to jamcity.me slash serene. I hope this also inspires you to make your space feel more like yours even if you're renting and if you're not renting congratulations take pride in ownership and take pride even in the place you're able to afford to rent because i think that's the biggest part no matter what you can afford making it feel like it's yours with a new plant with a new rug or just adding a couple pillows or candles that make it feel like yours um, your space should feel authentic and true to you and vineyard valley is such a fun game so please join me because i need friends to help keep me alive. Also, let me know in the comments what your favorite thing about my apartment is. Let's keep it positive. Don't tell me what you hate. Tell me what you love. And I know I can bring that over to our new place when we find it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.